Sagittarius, how y'all doing? Welcome to my channel, Adrian Nelson here um, from ancientgreatlife.com and this is your general reading for mid-January and I'm using oracle cards for this one only. I was in that very beautiful light mode of sort of like oracle energy. Um, for those of you that might be interested in oracle card reading, I have got a link in the description for my free online oracle card reading course so you're more than welcome to have a look at that and to see what you've got over there whenever you see this reading it's at the right time for you to see and um, if it resonates with you you come across something that resonates for you you know just give it a nice little like i'd really appreciate that let's see what we've got remember this reading is general and let's see what are we starting off with beautiful beautiful such a terrors. i hope that your hearts are doing amazing let's see what we've got for you in this general guidance that the universe would like to share with you and we're looking at purpose okay this is a little bit of a mess sorry about that all right we're looking towards the south and we're looking at purpose all right um where is it that your life would like to go? I feel that for some of you, um, Sagittarius, it almost feels like life is a little bit stuck here for you at the moment, all right? So what direction is it that you'd like to actually go with your life? And it, it feels like for some of you, it almost feels like you um, like, like you want so much and, and your heart is so open to such beautiful things, beautiful desires that you'd like to experience. I can see all of that there for you, but it's almost like one of those things where a person goes like, okay, so this is what I'd like to have, but how do I go about getting it? So it, it in, in a way, this can feel very, very frustrating because it feels almost like a very non-starter sort of energy because I feel for some of you, there's a sense of that frustration as we say, because you're like, this is what I want to do. That is how I'd like to go forward. I'd like to sort of shine. I feel that for many of you, you feel that you really want to sort of like almost have the sense of freedom maybe from the general public in essence to just be you because for some of you it almost feels like you're feeling very almost like sort of like um restricted and contained in a way um and what i get over here is that there is there's sort of like a gateway opening for you Sagittarius where you can sort of go about and do your own thing again all right um, some of you may have in your private capacity you know been a little bit more you but I also feel that there's ways opening for you to be able to do that in a broader sense of the word it's also almost in many ways it's like your life sort of purpose in itself um, it, it's sort of like more presenting itself. For those of you that might be familiar with astrology, um, you know, your south nose is normally, it's sort of like those things in life that are um, almost like karmic in a sense and could be holding you back. And I feel a lot of you are beginning to see ways in which you might be holding yourself back, ways in which you might have been sabotaging yourself in this world, um, or, or just basically ways that we can do things better, you know. Um, sometimes when we speak about sabotaging the self, we really, we become very intricate with that. But this is more one of those spaces where, um, where, where, where sort of like parts of you that you suppress, you're getting the opportunity to bring that out. It could, you know, and, and this is in your everyday life, life, career, jobs, um, you know, um, maybe possibly in relationships where um, you just really get to be you, which I really, really, really love. And then we've got Call of the Muse, okay? So it seems like for many of you, and this is why you are being so strongly encouraged, Sagittarius, to just be you, those desires that you have in your heart and those things that you'd like to have and that beautiful romantic experience and connection that you'd like to have or to expand, all of that is being very, um, you know, it's, it's very available to you at the moment. It's very possible to you at the moment. And so what you are sort of like being invited to here is, in a sense, you are being invited to really be you, you know, to not live life marginally and to not sort of, you know, tone yourself down um, in, in a sense of who it is that you'd like to be in, in your everyday life, because by... And, and I feel that, you, that for many of you, getting that beautiful opportunity, and this is if this is something that you're open to, I'd really encourage you to place your hand in your heart, to take a deep breath and claim this for yourself. But there's a space here where um, 
uh, where you sort of like aligning with that beautiful person, that beautiful connection um, of your heart. And this doesn't only have to be romance. It could be friends. It could be colleagues. It could be the people that surround your life, you know, connections with family. And I have to tell you that for some of you, as you express this fullness of who you are, there will be a bit of a separation from certain people in your life. But those people that you're sort of separating from may not have always been that much your crowd in any case. Okay, so it's really time to live your life. It's time to embrace the allness of who you are. And um, this is one of those spaces where you are being encouraged to speak your truth. Because when you speak your truth within yourself, um, some people will stay and some people will go. But the people that stay, those are normally your crowd. And the people that go, it's time for those people to go, you know. Um, as opposed to trying to hold on to certain connections that, that may sort of have run their course, okay. Um, distant thunder, clear the air. I had this card for another energy, I just can't remember who. I think, I, re I, I speak under correction here, but I think it was Cancer. Um, it could... Actually, I think it was Virgo. I think it was Virgo. All right. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you've got strong Virgo in your chart. Um, and of course, if you don't know your placements, there's a link in the description that says free natal chart. Have a look at that. See what your moon is. See what your rising is. It's very good to know those things. Okay. But um, for some of you, there might be things here that you haven't spoken about, that you kept within yourself. Um, and, and I feel that for some of you, it's almost like you even kept parts of yourself from yourself. All right. It's time to stop doing that. It's it's it's. I would say it's really time in this world for you, Sagittarius, to make up your mind for exactly what it is that you want. I, I mean exactly. All right. How it is that you'd like to live your life. Nobody's saying that you shouldn't compromise, that you shouldn't be um, considerate and those type of things. But sometimes we take that whole consideration thing and we sort of run a bit of a mile with that. So what is it that you want? Because ultimately your life is about you. All right. There we go. Just spoke about this. Honor your feelings with Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Now, the thing is... When we, when we really sort of take control of our emotions, it, it's beautiful for us, but initially there might be a little bit of, a, um, you know, a little bit of a, almost like a conflict sort of like in energy that we might experience, and especially with other people and circumstances. And the thing to remember is that a lot of times it takes us a while to sort of reach this point within ourselves. And by the sort of almost like previous version of who we've been, we train other people how to treat us and what to expect from us. And so as you change, it might take them a little bit of time to change as well. But if we want um, people and, and life in general in the universe to treat us in a different way, to, to have different things coming our way, you know, it, we have to start within the self. And it's about what is it that you can accept within yourself? What is it that you want your life to be? What are the parts of you that you've been suppressing? You know, um, what is it that you'd like to open channels for in your life? What is it that you'd like to have flowing? What is it that's standing in your way? It might be time to do some inner work over here. Um, there might be, I feel for some of you, very strongly, there's almost like some forgiveness that you might have to do. Maybe some people let you down. They did some things that you didn't expect. Um, or, or they didn't do things that you expected, maybe. And it's time to sort of let that go because some of you are holding on to it and it's causing your heart a lot of pain. But in the same token, when we say hold on to it, it means like if you feel hurt, if you feel pain, if you feel even rejected, honor that. A lot of times you try to get away from it. I shouldn't feel that. I shouldn't feel this. I shouldn't feel that. But you are a human being with human emotions, having a human experience on planet Earth. And you want to honor that within yourself because earth isn't always that easy all right so if you're having challenges at the moment if you're feeling overwhelmed at the moment anything that you're doing remember to honor yourself first because when we don't honor ourselves first life mimics that 
and then it starts giving us those experiences where we actually feel like we are second as well. All right. So I hope that helps, um, Sagittarius. That's all I got for you for um, for this reading. If if you found benefit from that, if you appreciated this, I'd really appreciate you liking the video, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Remember to hit that notification bell. And also for those of you that are interested, I have got a special running that is available for purchase until the end of February 2022, where you get a full... Um, regression hypnosis session as well as a full reading they're about 1.5 to 2 hours in length the readings and you only pay for the regression hypnosis session you can contact me via my details below i'll see you next time bye